Welcome to Story Comic Presents, where we interview amazing storytellers and artists. This is episode 147. I'm your host, Barty Smith of StoryComic.com, and we're excited to have with us the highly acclaimed and talented British comic creator, Marcus Pattern. Marcus. Hola. How's it going? It's going all right yourself? Good. So uh, I was doing my homework. I was watching your, following you on Twitter, watching your live stream drawings. Um, watching your previous interviews you've done with in, in other shows and you are you are here to talk about your western comic the uh the three deaths of willis waterhouse and yep. you have a pretty fun backstory and why you created this uh i i do um so uh, the uh, the comic is a part of a series called uh, Thirteen Shots of Whiskey, and the um, the story and style is called uh, The Three Deaths of Willis Waterhouse. Um, and the reason I did it was because like uh, 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 me and this cat called Devon, where we're uh, running this Kickstarter for uh, it's got a whole comic called The Gateway, which failed to launch and stuff. And I, so I, I had a um, I had like a lot of I had, so I had like about a month or so of free time because I because uh, and quite a lot of um pent up like like Kronog energy and <laughs> about like the uh about the lack of success in the kickstart and I thought well i need to do something with my, this time and energy and i need some i need to finish 2021 with a with a win so like um and then like uh and basically i uh i i've been i watched a lot of cartoonist cafe and jim rugg created octobriana within seven weeks i thought can i do that it'd be a good thing to show because i can say you know it's a good calling card. I go, hey guys, I can create a, a comic for seven weeks. Hire me to do that and stuff. And then that's so that's that's the reason for it. To and then the reason uh, why it's a western because whenever I've talked to cats about making uh, comics and stuff, they said, oh, what you know, if if someone hasn't come, if I'm not drawing on someone else's idea, they're oh, what do you fancy drawing? And one of the things. I've always fancied drawing was like a Western because I discovered recently that I like drawing horses yeah. and I had that itch and uh, and no one's ever jumped on the idea of like drawing because like, I, I guess I'm talking to like a lot of uh, American uh, cats and stuff and uh, maybe Westerns aren't a thing over there like they are over here. Mm. So I was like, well, I need to prove, I need to get this energy out. I need to prove myself. So I guess I'm drawing a Western and stuff. And then like, uh, so yeah. And then, yeah, that's, that's, that's why I joined a Western. So ultimately, it was because you said you like to draw a horse. You, do, you like to draw the horses, and you've written stuff in the. As I said, a, as a comic creator, you've written some stuff also in the past. Now, what did, what were some of the commonalities that you've seen as a Western comic as compared to some, uh, some other comic genres? Is there a, as a storytelling goes, is there some specific things that make it a Western other than the fact of the location, but there's are any like story themes that need to I be mean, in a Western? I guess this, this is a Western because I'm saying it's a Western and uh, Willis is a cowboy and it's set in the gold rush era. I don't know if that makes it a Western or a periodical and stuff like, right. uh, I mean, cause basically the, the story, the, you know, the, the, like the story is the story. It doesn't really need it. I mean, I could have set that in, in like, uh, 1920s new orleans or like in deep in the future and stuff lying people are lying people and they get what they get because you know mm. and um but like um i guess the trappings i made this a western was the fact that like i mean to me it's 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 the horses it's the saloons it's the it's the the men of the earth and the grit and the uh and the uh redhead irish birds that they do wrong and stuff you know um but like i mean I mean, because like when I was doing the research for for the comic and everything, like there's loads of like there's loads of things that like if I was to go via uh, like like traditional like like the 30s, 40s, and 60s westerns, they would be in this comic. Uh, but like if you but like you know looking back at the historical eye and stuff, like it's case of they would be more akin to stuff like, so, like in the more modern retakes of like like uh, uh, Free Ten to Wyuma, um the remake of uh, 
of the fantastic uh, magnificent seven and uh, uh godless that you know jeff bridges one and stuff but like it's like it's a lot more um it's a lot more free-throwing eshtay jubby love kind of going in like in in the uh not as prosaic oh. not as kind of like buttoned up as you would think considering the movies that are being made and stuff so like uh so like it's all this this possibilities of like you know like uh whole rainbow of humanity that was in california in the 1950s and stuff right. you know from yeah you know, from like just it wasn't just white cats it was like obviously the native americans and stuff and like there's a, a massive influx of uh of chinese uh, immigrants and stuff and then like uh yeah and like that one of the, the bits of the in the comic was like um i was watching um do you, uh i can't remember her name but she was doing uh she did like like her first video was like explaining what was culture wrong with the live uh, remake of uh, Mulan and stuff, mm. and she's got an interesting channel. I'm watching it. She's gone about like uh, Chinese American food, and now basically everyone came across uh, and you know they brought their ingredients and they basically it's not obviously not authentic Chinese food because like China is a massive area with loads of different um, uh, provinces and stuff. But like these cats came along and made their own food and then and made it themselves. So it's it's Chinese American. So like uh, the idea that you you'd culturally pollinate via food and it's like well obviously they're going to be so that's one of the beats one of the reasons why like um like uh Taneka, who's uh, uh the uh, native american character um to as a way of wooing um sarah brings along szechuan pepper to stick in uh, uh takamakalo that buffalo dish and stuff so and so how i don't know if that answered any of your question but that's that's the yeah. Yes. No, 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 that was good, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, but you, you, you still have 10 for 10, man. Just you're doing, you're doing great. So, um, <laughs> uh, so, so talk to us a bit about too. Is like you mentioned in the previous interview that you, uh, you, you first, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but you kind of like do your process of how you tell uh, you get your story down that you, you kind of frame out your script first. And I think you remember you had it, you showed like a little notebook or something where you kind of like wrote things. Yeah. Um, well, basically the the uh, the whole thing behind thirteen shots of uh, essentially, right? The, the notebook is is this, which is really flimsy, and I can't use this for writing down my daily chores and like uh, my schedule and stuff. That's why I have this notebook which is more uh, rigid and stuff which you know i realize is riveting a, a bit of conversation but anyway <laughs> so, um essentially i had this notebook lying about and like i'm i'm guy like if, if there's a notebook lying about or there's a bit of paper lying about i'm gonna fill it with something and stuff and i was like well i need to do something and like uh and like i need to and so like a whole bunch of ideas i so like okay i can't use this for like taking uh for my schedule but the news of us jotting down notes like this book is full of like uh of like kind of pitches and ideas for like the 13 shots of whiskey so like uh at, and then i kind of mapped um i didn't uh um so and then i kind of map it out in here so like mm. so the rough sketches are, a rough idea is in, is in this book and with so with uh with three deaths of willis waterhouse what i my intention was to do what ed brubaker does but like he gives sean phillips like a like 10 pages and stuff and then he goes away and writes it and stuff and it writes a bit more and then he piecemeals it out to sean phillips because sean phillips is fantastic and obviously have a much better working relationship than i have with myself and i was like that's my idea and i realized oh no i want this to be 22 pages long i mm. i only want this book to be 22 pages long and the uh the uh idea that and then like oh and then trying to thread that needle with like it's like no i had uh, to go back and probably flesh out the script and edit and uh, I was using cue cards as a, as a way of kind of uh, arranging the script and kind of like go well, with a with a story beat time and stuff and there was I don't normally work that way and mm. I haven't I didn't do it for the second issue the second issue because like it's it's like a, a noir detective story so I needed a lot more kind of like this is what I'm doing and yeah so uh so yeah that's that's a so uh, uh the book uh, the story i'm doing after this one the third story is going to be like a, like a, a long action piece so I'm, i might try and use the cue cards that way basically i i yeah um um i t i 
I try not to keep to the same rigid formula for each time. Um, because like this is the, uh, this is the first book that I I've written and drawn where I've actually completed it and under my own steam and stuff. And like I don't want to get, get bogged down into, you know, basically trying to see how many gloves fit and and how they work out. So, and but essentially like in in this book there's like about uh 15, 15 16 pitches for what will uh go into 13 shots of whiskey because I'm intending it to be a seven a seven issue bi-monthly uh bi-monthly comic right. that's of course a publisher comes on and goes oh by the way i like the fact that you can draw a comic in seven days here here's some money you go and do it for me then i'm chucking it to the curb <laughs> yeah <laughs> so do you have so 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 let me ask you this question then, as you mentioned is that you're you got you got a you got a you have a and you have a job you have a family so it's people that might be listening or or listening or watching this might be saying so marcus how do you how do you split up the day how would you be how do you do that how do you what would be some of your tips and advice for for comic creators quit your job make sure your child is in school and then do it that way yeah <laughs> i was I, I realized that's really a, a reckless thing to say but i and but honestly it's the fact that i've been i was lucky because yeah. like um I'm not, I wasn't lucky because the pandemic and stuff, but like, obviously the pandemic hit. I wasn't at work because I work in an off license, so I couldn't be in the shop because like you can't social distance in an off license. So I I was really really lucky in the fact that I got to be at home and kind of sit down and hone my craft. Yeah. And at the end, uh, and then like when it came back to like like having to go back to work, I was like, it's either now or never. And I just i just didn't want to go back in and stuff i was really wasn't in, in enjoying it and stuff and it's like i if i don't take that op opportunity and how you know so and uh so yeah i only work two days a week which is like friday and sunday so like um so and so that kind of keeps me ticking over and in terms of juggling the home uh the, the home life uh, my uh my daughter's um got uh, autism so she was in school because they uh because I, I don't, are you in Canada, right? Yeah, we're almost Canada. We're in Vermont, which is basically Canada. As, uh, so I, I, I'm not sure how, exactly how uh, your, your your state played out, but like yeah. over here, like we 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 didn't treat the school situation well at all, unless you had like an EHC plan, in which case they couldn't just not educate you because it's a legally binding document. So like, right. uh, so she got into a um like into a proper school, and she was basically taken to school so like i might so like while also being very good that my daughter was getting the education that she needed it meant that she was also wasn't in my house right you know and my wife's used to me going on on for long periods of time so right. yeah so that's it's basically uh my advice to anyone listening to me is be lucky be extremely lucky that's the only way it's going to be you know and do you have um and do you do you know that so so with that said when you when you put out the script did you before you put before you put pen to paper or you know digital pen to clip studio paint did you did you have any like people look at your script to tweak it at all or give you feedback yeah um i had some really cool cats do some beta reading and if i was they're all professional i remember their names but if you give me two seconds their names were um uh well devon the guy who wrote gateway with me uh, uh he he looked uh, he looked over it my really good friend nikki grindhouse she looked over it. uh kristen herrera dan um mamelia and george o'connor basically if you buy an issue of 30 shots of whiskey they're the special thanks in the in the beginning so and they helped out a, a lot with just kind of like uh like uh like like pacing and stuff and like rearranging scenes and everything so like uh so yeah and they they've also helped on with the second issue so like because that's a problem when you work alone and stuff you kind of get buried and lost in the woods and the trees and stuff and you you know you, you know and you kind of so like uh it's always good to have someone that go over your work and stuff and like uh at some point hopefully i'll get some sort of editorial kind of thing where someone will go oh, by the way this this and that just to kind of polish it up and everything but yeah, uh, it, it, it I had beta readers come and say that okay. doesn't work or that works, and uh, my dad's a writer as well, so 
Oh, okay. He helped me out with some. So like the the, the scene you've shown up uh, now, uh, basically the uh, like the first panel, basically the um, what I had what I had written because I was used to be in a band and I was I was for the first ten pages I was channeling my inner Johnny Cage, uh, Johnny Cash and stuff, right. and like I was like no no you need to basically cut that to the bone and everything so like it came so it, uh so it flowed more as well so like I, yeah. Essentially, I, I've uh, I've enlisted the help and kindness of people where they uh, well, you know, so yeah, basically, I because it's not, it's I mean, drawing, I I know myself well enough to go well, I'm, but like uh, writing them, it's not a, it's not a thing I've really shown other people that I've done, mm. especially on, on like a big book like on like a big book like this. So like, uh, yeah, basically, I sort of I sought the advice of others who are willing to give it to me. So how like for, as you mentioned, you want to this is going to be like a you said what a seven issue limited series in theory, yeah. Okay, have the, have the, is there a, is there a point where you would look at trying to in order to to to, to finish the story to maybe enlist like other artists to draw some of the issues? No, I'm drawing them. So I, I should also indicate these these are these are one and dones. So like it's. So it, you know, so like that. I mean, if you see an issue of it, it out in the wild and stuff, and you don't need to pick up the previous issues, you can okay. it's be lovely. But like, but essentially, they're one and done. Okay, and th this is reflections to what um, the 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 Kickstarter that you yeah, that that you launched that was going to be the anthology series, correct? No, sorry. the the, the Kickstarter was uh, was a Lovecraftian horror I did. With, oh, okay, all right. With, with Devin, uh, that oh, failed to launch, um, and the thirty shot uh, thirty shots of whiskey was the result of me having a lot of like pent up pent good up. and arg energy and stuff. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the reason it's called thirty shots of whiskey is because I had a, a much more uh, expletive title for uh the three deaths of willis waterhouse okay but like no one said everyone said like that's a really bad idea you shouldn't call your comic that and then <laughs> so, well i want to anyway so what i'm gonna do is gonna call the book 30 shots of whiskey and the uh and the, and the story will be the three deaths of this line expletive and then like i just uh but like i just stuck with willis waterhouse anyway so like you know and then, but by that point, it's like you know what? I'm I'm gonna commit to it. It's gonna be an anthology story. It's called the the three uh, called Thirty Shots of Whiskey, and we're gonna go from there. Right. So, so the three deaths of Willis Waterhouse. What are what's what's this um, kind of the the back of the the back of the book synopsis of what what your what the readers can expect from the book? Uh, so basically, the story is um, Willis Waterhouse. Uh, he's a cowboy riding off into his last sunset. Mm -hmm. um, we hear we hear his side of the story how he he recants his life and tells and uh puts a bit more of a rosy spin on it than is uh wanted and then that's the first half of the book the second half of the book is we find out um how he did his wife uh wife uh sarah dirty how he did his best friend Taneka ill and basically the reason why he's being shot in the first place and then that's the the the, the book essentially like uh we so yeah we find out why why he why he had to die okay and now and, and so if, if somebody wanted to get as you said somebody wanted to get this book this is out now correct it is out now yes okay uh you can get it via um um you can either get it via my uh, etsy store which is uh etsy store okay yeah there we go um and i i, sh I ship anywhere apparently or if you don't <laughs> if you don't want to spend like the uh like if you live in in the states and you don't want to spend like eight pounds for a three pound book uh there's uh it's available on my gum road as well for two quid for di digital download okay all right and at some point i will be doing a buy small press but i'm not too sure what that is for the um store but i'm sure that is for the uh for the states okay i have no i, I don't know what the conversion rate is but that seems like a lot of money but yeah it's well worth it it's a, it's a fantastic book it's life-changing <laughs> Well, no, thirteen. So that that's not a bad price at all. I mean, that that that's comparable to what you would expect from that that that's comparable to what you would expect from like a Kickstarter comic. Is that including the the delivery charge of thirteen quid? 
It looks like it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So actually, that's a better price. I mean, I'm cheaper than Marvel and DC. Just just putting it out there. Yeah. Because <laughs> right, you know, you know. I, so, I, I, I didn't want to, because I was really, that was one of the things I was really racking my brains about, because I didn't want to be like, like, I don't want to be expensive because, like, it, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a, you know, it's not just, at the end of the day, it's a 22-page black and white comic and stuff. Charging a lot for it would seem, like, gougy and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want to charge, I don't, you know, I want to make, you know, it's one of those things, that you, you know, but I think, I thought, I thought three quid, I don't know what it translates to in, in, uh, in dogs, but I thought three quid, that's, that's, that's a reasonable amount. Right. Yeah. And, I do feel really bad for charging people. Like, uh, I guess that's what, what eight quid works out in in, in dollars. I, I'm, not, I'm not overly happy about that, but that's, that's the way it rolls. Right. Well, but also, I mean, just like shipping costs a lot of money now, anyway. So they probably yeah, have to. Roll you're telling money. me, man. Yeah. I, I'm. Yeah. Uh, I was, yeah. No. I, it's 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 staggering, eye watering. I was like, you know. <laughs> Do you have so talk talk to us a bit about just even like your uh, your your procedure like your process? Um, so you mentioned earlier you kind of like frame out a script. You kind of write you write that you write the script down. You write the script out first, so you know how your story ends, like yeah. before you. And so and now that you know good that you have like you also have the beta readers and people kind of read the script ahead of time and once you put pen to it so talk to us about how you draw do you i you um, mentioned you do you use clip studio paint correct yeah i use clip studio um uh I, I did i was using pro for for this but i use clip studio x now and i use like a an xp pen 22 second generation okay which is fantastic really big screen like i, I would show it to you but it's like literally just below here so um um basically uh, the process is like i i i thumbnail um i do a little rough little uh sketches of the uh of the uh, of the of the page and then like um then it put that on to and then i take that the the rough, rough little sketch blow it up put it on like the uh on the regular on the regular size page and then i uh i do a, I get a sketch pencil kind of stage and then I ink uh, and I, my aim is basically I get up I sit at this uh, th this computer about uh, eight half eight and I work uh, pretty solidly f until about six is and then so like I try and keep it like as much as a uh, as a, a banker's day as I can because mm. like you can get like because like work is there to fill the time so if right. you give yourself lots of time you fill up with lots of work but you don't necessarily get anything done it's like if you go so no i need to get this done a, a page a day is a good is a good uh, sh uh trek and everything so like that's that's basically the aim and it's you know not it's it's, it's not that deep or, com uh, or interesting of a, a step story i basically i take a thumbnail and i blow it up and i draw on it uh for the for the what i did learn for doing uh, three deaths is like um like i was doing like kind of batches of of um of thumbnails so i did like about five or six and, and then i thought oh, I'll, go, I'll carry on with that and then there would, but i came to a point like i just didn't i i got i caught on myself and i didn't have enough other thumbnails for it so i start the day off with doing a thumbnail and i need kind of like silence and <clears throat> like uh quiet when i'm doing a thumbnail because i need like it's quite taxing and on the old brain pan and stuff and then and like uh because i've just got the wife and the child and then it can't just be like all right because i'm in my living room this is where my st station is like i've got you just just, just shut up <laughs> working, you know it's like i need you know and oh well, yeah i so like yeah so like i find myself like doing the most taxing bit of the of the process at the beginning of the day and it's like i don't need that noise what i need is to basically start on like the sketching and stuff where i can kind of ease my way into it and just kind of in that kind of you know instead of doing like instead of going from like a high dive and you know low dive and stuff you know and so like now with uh uh with the burnt ends i've basically done i've i've thumbnailed out the i took two days of the of the um of the uh, uh processing stage and just did that for um two days 
no, no, I got all, I got like 20 pages done and now I'm basically just using them. So, you know, and for most parts, the, the stuff I came up with uh, works a, um, a lot, uh, works just as well if I, if I'd, like, um, there was one page where I did the thumbnail that day and like, it took so long because I, ah, uh, that composition is terrible. I can't draw that angle. What am I doing? What's that? And it just, and I, I think I'd just been quite ill as well. So like, it's just, so like, it's just like, it, it just, you know, it, it belabored the point. So like now, again, like if I do it all, if you, the more work you do beforehand, right. it's what you have to do later. So like, I'm, you know, and you know, if I get ill this during this process and stuff, um, I can just kind of just slavishly kind of just draw something without having to come up with something. Yeah. So what were some of the things that, um, you kind of talked about a little earlier is like, what were some of the, the time saving techniques that you utilize now that you oh, I said, man, I wish I knew that last year. Cause I would have um, saved me hours. I, I use, ref, uh, I use like a lot of references and stuff and okay. it never occurred to me at all to basically say, uh, like when I go to Google or whatever, like, uh, save the image, uh, as so, I would just save the image randomly and, and I'd be just scrolling through my folder going, what was I looking for? What was I but it's like if, if I just save it as like, like panel, uh, page one, panel one, uh, panel one B and stuff, it's like, oh, that's what I want. That's what I need. And it's just like, just such a time, that is, that is a time show because I'm, instead of having to scroll to get, it saves you, I mean, it saves you like what, three or five minutes, you know, at, at a time, but like, it's also like, you know, that, that's, that's more time you can spend working and stuff, you know? So that's, that's been the biggest time. So just organization and stuff like, uh, like having like, if, I, if this is, if it, if the image re refers to a specific panel, save it there. If I'm using a specific prop, save it in a prop folder and stuff, just right. organizing the folders and stuff. And then, so you can just doing all the heavy lifting at the beginning in the preparation stage. So I take, uh, and then just when you can cut, so when you come to draw the comic, you don't have to come up with anything new. It's just like, oh, that's, I know what I'm looking at and stuff, you know? Right. And, and 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 you and that's a that's a really great idea. So when you when you save it, it's like either is it in multiple locations or do you have a shared folder like in a, a Google? Like so, if you're like on your, it's, not, it's, not, it's just on my computer. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, just because uh, I, I don't I don't because I don't because uh, basically the uh, the tablet is directly in front of my computer anyway, so I don't I don't need to save it to Google Docs. Uh, I'm not I, I I I've never been I haven't been at a point where like oh I need to find an image. I'm nowhere near my computer. Like if I was um if I was at work or whatever, and like uh, then I'd probably use Google Docs or I use Pinterest quite a lot. But like, it's not something I I've needed to. No, I would do if I needed to. But like, yeah, basically it's all on it's all in one. It's all like uh, everything saved under the, the the work folder and stuff. So like um yeah. So like basically there's a there's a on, on my computer there's a uh, folder marked comics, and then that is uh, it, each issue is broken down in, on and it's on individual folders. So like burnt ends is like what I'm working on now. So and all the appropriate images are saved under burnt ends or in location and stuff. So all, all in the same space. So I'm not having to run around and look for stuff. Okay, and he said burnt ends. That's that's going to be book two. Of... That's going to be book two. Yeah, yeah. burnt ends. Okay. Uh, and you have and, and you were saying that earlier you wanted to get try to get this you every was it you said every two months you wanted to get a book out yeah i, I, I reckon that's a good a good enough um pace and i can i can do that all right and and so and and you and so with you know with that said are you doing any of these are you gonna that evolve into color or just you're gonna you're gonna keep it black and white black and white because it's it, one that's infinitely cheaper too I, um <clears throat> i was i was gonna i was gonna color um uh but like like i just discovered that um like discovering i like drawing horses i've discovered i quite like lettering like okay I, my handwriting is appalling so it, it never occurred to me that i would actually like to, like lettering a comic but like it's like ah i actually i mean you can see an example of my appalling handwriting right there but you know right. uh so like um it's like well it's it's um so like i can and i can't i can color but it's not something i excel at it's, it's a bit more of a chore so i was like oh, do i go with this or and then like um and basically like i had a whole bunch of ideas and stuff and essentially they just kind of fell by the wayside in favor of just uh you know just just doing the lettering and stuff right so, and for in and yeah so just basically just fell by the wayside though like um 
uh, with burnt ends, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be using a lot more grays and spot blacks mm. and stuff like that. It's going to be because uh, yeah, everybody who's reading watching this, uh, Three Deaths of Willow Waterhouse is perfection. It's the best comic you'll ever read. But if I <laughs> wanted to gild the lily, I could have used a bit more kind of color and a bit more kind of grays and to separate pa uh, planes and stuff. But other than that, that, that minor tip bit, perfection. But you know. Do you have so like we're looking at an image now? It looks like it's a. Uh, is this like an inside image? No, that's the back. That's the back cover. Oh, the back that's cover. Back. Yeah. And it's you know it's a picture of like you just see a hand with a with a you know hand holding a a, a gun with a snake kind of curling around it. That's digital. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. That's the great thing about Clip Studio. They've got like a, like a basically a uh, a pencil uh, thing, <clears throat> like a pencil brush that like it, like you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And, right. and that's that's kind of what's been slowing me down with burnt ends. Is the fact that, like I've discovered this pencil brush and I really like doing it. And now I'm because like right, not to get too inside the baseball, but I'm going to. So this is the way it's going to turn out. Um, I, basically with um with previous comics I've been like using. Like uh, like an inking pen to do the sketching and stuff in case like there's something in the in the sketching stage that I like so much that I want to take it over into the finish stage. Right. Um, uh, but like uh, with uh, with burnt ends, I've I've gone from using raster layers to using vector layers, and you uh, and so like so basically like the panel the, the sketching pencil stage isn't being used at all. So like I'm gone from using like G G pens and ink inking pens to do the sketches to like, well, I, I really like the feel of using the uh, of the of the pencil and stuff. So like I've just, I guess, Ben Ems was taking just kind of fighting against my urge to use the pencil line, but like now I'm just fully into it. And it's making the workflow go a lot, lot quicker. Right. Yeah, that looks amazing. And um, also it's easier to to shade and sketch so I can kind of figure out what's where I'm going to be putting in shadows and stuff with, with a with a pencil like something about doing it with inking lines just it's just too precise so it doesn't so it's it's essentially cross hatching whereas that one's just like shading and stuff right now what what uh, uh is there any like online groups or communities that that uh, that you that you've worked with that you've been able to uh get some like feedback or be able to provide advice to I'm not nearly as uh, social enough for that kind of malarkey you know you know <laughs> um, I've just I've just discovered Discord, um, I, which is too chaotic for my for my brain. But like um, I'm on the Comics Jam on there, oh, and they're right. cool okay. cats to work uh, to work with and stuff. But I'm essentially I'm trying to be more social and stuff, but it's just not really something that's um right. in me as a as a human being. So yeah, we had them on the we had them on the show. Yeah, the yes, you did. Thing. You, uh, you were talking to Chris, uh, Christian etc. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a cool cat. Yeah, yeah. Also, the third, the third pod, podcast I've, I've been on where they've mentioned uh, Doug Wood. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Who is a terrible human being and is not the prettiest man on the internet. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he, he, he start. He, he's he was the first uh, writer I worked with who wasn't like who wasn't myself. Was a uh, uh, we're going to do something for big hype. But that okay. kind of fell through. But yeah, like Doug, Doug is really cool. I like him. And, and it's a bit have, of cool. right. It's a, and 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 also too is like where do you? And there's also some, like, in, in in Britain we had you also have there like the uh, what's the, what's like the convention scene like over there as well. No, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm I've, I don't, I never really did conventions and stuff because I never had the time and I've been looking in and but when I was like. When I decided to kind of do this comics thing, like full time kind of thing, like COVID happened, so that they all closed down and stuff. So right. um, I'm looking into it, cause, but like um, it to because because <clears throat> like it's kind of hard to know what's what's like a um like one, but like an what artists kind of can sell the wares and what is basically just like a massive comics mart, right? And like it's just trying to figure out what's what what what's to be gained from going to them. Obviously, I get my name out there, but they're not free, and right. so do I have to. So, and I didn't have to travel up there. I don't, don't drive, so I'd have to. So I'd go for all this rig, rig, rigmarole to get there. Right. It's like, is, that, is it going to be worth it and stuff? Which right. just trying to find out which ones worth going to and not whatnot. 
Yeah. And so do you, and, and, and also too, is like with so, so the, the, as I said, when you, you get, you get on you, Etsy is, is probably the best place for people who are interested in buying your book is, is, is going to yeah. your Etsy site. Or if you live in London, you can go to gosh, it's been stocked in there. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Um, and so, so so what so once once you kind of get your series together are you are you ever going to look back at that that cthulhu type story are you going to revisit that at all i mean i mean i, I generally don't know because uh, yeah. it's the because devon because the reason why uh, i was i started working on um on 13 shots of whiskey was because uh i was expecting devon to come along come along with the second uh, script of um of of the gateway and everything i was, I, was okay. I expected him to have that wait, waiting for me and it, but he was busy so he didn't so like you'd have to so like i'd have to wait like a few like um like five weeks or whatever for it to come through and it's like well, I, i'm not in that long you know i want to get something done and and essentially like i think i think the uh i, mean, I know certainly failing hit the mark with with the with the kickstarter put a really you know irked me so and I, I i kind of put the stank of failure on it and stuff and i'm like i'm not really wanting to uh to return to something that has such negative connotations and stuff so i just i think you know i, I maybe it's just as much I, it's, it's probably more my reluctance to return to something that has such a, a negative so like i don't know essentially the, you know if, if devon comes along with, with a with a, a script and, and and a publisher or whatever or just somewhere it can go out and stuff well i'm having to rely on 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 kickstarter's algorithms i right. would return stuff but like because it's 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 a big book because like there's like 40 it's like 42 pages and stuff and it's like wow. a lot of energy to stick into a book that doesn't come out it was like 22 pages like that's that's like five weeks of drawing and like i you know seven uh, seven weeks in total that's 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 manageable whereas like three months of like of just sitting down also like the like my my art style and stuff changes in quite a bit so like what i would start at the beginning would be totally different to what i finish with right. you know if i was doing like a three month if it took me three months to do one book and everything and so, so to, much to draw a graphic novel for them my art style is regular and what is you will start with and what you finish with i don't right. just fluctuate in case you want me to draw like a 120 page graphic novel graphic novel right and do you have um and so you mentioned the, the lettering piece what was the thing that you mentioned you said that you really liked the lettering what was the thing that um you kind of gravitated towards that that, that you appreciated about that i think it's just a, a fact that i i never realized i could do it and until i and like oh this is because because like uh and this and there's no way this is not going to come across as being anything other than being precious and pretty but like because it's my my artwork and my books and stuff and when anyone else's hands touch it's like nope that's not good enough for me you know even, <laughs> even though i know i can't do better and so, i mean in terms of like coloring and stuff like it's case like no nope. marcus you need to roll your hold roll your back man that you, you you've given this over to someone else but it's like let me in this case of like um because like, the last thing you do last person to touch the book is the letter and stuff and like another way to edit the uh, dialogue and we uh what was i doing i was working with a guy called uh andrew russell um the third i think who i had done a uh who i had worked with on this anthology called not so fair tales and he came he had a couple um other anthology pitches uh, a couple of page stuff and that was expected of me to both draw and letter it and so with only like two or three page well one was four pages and one was two pages and I'm like, well, I, can, I can give it a go you know it's not beyond me and then one uh and then just doing it, it's like oh i really like this like the, i think it's just the surprise of 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 doing it and the fact that you know i mean i'm not gonna say i'm the world's greatest letterer i uh, i need to be a lot more precise in where i put my balloons and stuff and then, you know but like it was just the fact it didn't it didn't come it wasn't difficult it wasn't a chore okay so ah but i mean but i mean but i mean but boom but boom boom it's it was like a and Maybe because like um the first um one of the reasons I got back into making comics was I uh, discovered um uh, strip panel naked uh you know that uh, sh uh, show on and he basically he's a letterer himself 
and he does a whole bunch of stuff where like uh he explains how lettering works and so like i so like i had like a bit of like a, a preamble on how to how to letter and like because you know it's like ah and so like maybe it's just, it all percolated and like so like i knew sort of what i had to do and like uh and you know and while it's not complicated it's also like it's relatively easy but it's a little complicated so like you know so it's kind of just set off sparks in my brain so i'm gonna i'm gonna give that a go and then yeah just uh just had a lot of fun doing it and almost as as you said because it's your work it's almost like you're being able to do the finishing touches to each page as well yeah knowing that you you can be able to do the start and then up to the finish of it too so yeah it's also good for uh editing and dialogue because uh, i i uh I, I favor like doing like basically like like, like dialogue in batches of three so like uh just kind of whittling the dialogue down to that as, as well yeah so <coughs> And so, so as we as we say that the um, the three the three deaths of Willie Waterhouse is available now. Um, people can go ahead and get it through Etsy. It's also through on Etsy, Gumroad. Yeah. Yep. Um, and also on my Patreon. It's also on your Patreon. Yeah. And so, yeah. So you do have a yeah you, you do have a, a a really good Patreon as well. Um, what are some of your what are some of your um, do you want to talk a bit about your, your 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 tier levels that you have available on Patreon? Uh, yeah, I guess I should. Um, um, basically, like there's the one dollar tier, which is basically, I mean, uh, you'll you'll get like a, a a thank you note and stuff, and I need to figure that out a bit more. But like essentially, that's just kind of your your warm and your fuzzies. Like you've done me a, a flavor, <laughs> and I thank you for it. You're a great person, and you'll forever have my gratitude and then on like there's a digital goodness tier which is basically like um what you'll get is like uh in theory what you're gonna get is like uh full size images of stuff i've been working on on that day and stuff and uh on the week or whatever and uh, if any finished pages so like in you know kind of like what uh, ed pisco does like you you'll get like um uh like three or four finished pages of uh, 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 like a week of the con, not so much with uh, Burt ends at the moment because I'm still needing to figure that out. But like, mm. in, yeah, that's what you're getting with um, when I was doing uh, the three deaths. Like, yeah, like every time I'd finish the page, it would go up, and like uh, I do stuff like uh, like sketches and prints and stuff. So like that, they go up, and then and you get like the um, uh, so you, you get obviously you get the finished uh, the piece. Uh, you get like the sketch, any thumbnails, any process st stuff I done, and I tend to also kind of like, break down colors and and fats and whatnot and then yeah so that's what you get on uh, on the uh on the digital goodness as well um and also like basically any any uh, any cash i get via um patreon and my kofi account basically will fun, uh fund the uh uh fund the the uh 13 shots of whiskey uh okay. series so any money that i make gets channeled directly back into the into into the books Right, and and so and you you also do have a, a pretty active uh, Instagram account, and you also have a do a, I? A, yeah, yeah. There it is. There's that's your book right there. You said in the is that the yeah. I'll, I'll be honest, you Instagram. I, I used to be really really active on Instagram, but like I can't be messing with that that noise anymore. <laughs> like their 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 algorithm went from being really like nice and and receptive to like like I post stuff and I get it'd be absolutely crickets. Right. Like, what no <laughs> you know, like 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 i used to do like uh i used to have a different uh a different one like uh i did um uh i did it like, i say for that i mean i know that that's broken out but like there's there's that uh the the last one on, on the right with the basically that random uh, sandman sketch right. which is basically me figuring out how to use a paint tool that i worked out that got loads of hits right and that but like like the stuff that i've you know yeah, but like let's say the, the 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 chainsaw man guy got relatively nothing like stuff that's actually I, I put time and effort nothing at all nothing. you know and it's just like I say oh they changed their algorithm a, a while ago it's just like it's so unreceptive and I have no idea how you use your, the the hashtags and whatnot I'm just like uh, and it's, it was really just depressing just being on there just like getting absolutely nothing back from it so I was like right. I, I can't be bothered with this noise so I, I you know I tend to use Twitter a lot more I'm I'm right. mainly active on Twitter. Right. 
Yeah. Yeah. You do have your, yeah, you're on, you're on Twitter a lot. Yeah. yeah. And now that's, I say people should definitely check out your YouTube, your YouTube channel as well. You do a lot of live streams, which is, I've, uh, I've just got back into that. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I've just finished one about, uh, well, it was about two hours ago now. So yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. Everyone come like, and subscribe on, on YouTube. I've got, I've only got like 13 subscribers. I need to get to hundred before I can change this janky URL. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when you could just change your URL willy nilly, but I don't know what they, they, you know, it is, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You did. You're, yeah. You were doing, uh, uh, you're doing a live stream on your drawing your Dr. Strange. Right? I mean, I was intending to do that, but like, I, I I'm, I'm a little uh, flaky today because like yesterday it was a really, really busy day uh, and just, just not comic wise and it's, kind of really zapped everything out of me and like so i came to uh when i was doing the page today it's like you know i just it just i didn't get enough finished and so like um i figured what well, i decided so that's what i was drawing uh today was the uh was i was finishing off the uh, comic page that i didn't finish off so that's a lie i didn't mean to lie to people but i'm just really in that <laughs> so uh that th there will be a live stream where basically where i will be finishing off that because uh, i'm intending that to be like a print that i'll sell because i really really dig that image right okay cool well we're, we're at the top of the hour marcus so come back again with uh uh with uh with your next book it will do i mean in, in if all being equal it's going to be out on the 28th of march all okay. being equal all right well, yeah we'll put you down so yeah and, and come back and, and like i said i will move I'll, I'll move it to an earlier time time slot because yeah, I, I, want I, be, I want to be cognizant of a of a of a fellow dad of a of a of a daughter that we you know so I got to make sure that you you get your get your night's sleep in so I do appreciate that man I yeah. I, 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 I I'm I'm wait a minute I am I'm, I'm, I'm lagging a bit now I used to you know, I did, <laughs> it, it, the past few days have been you know just been yeah I just know I'm not yeah. a bit more. Uh, for both than this. Oh yeah, okay. I see in your interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's fun watch. It's it's fun watching you when you're talking in your interviews as the hour goes along, as it gets closer to the night time, as it gets later and later in the night. I'm just yeah, yeah. It's it's fun watching. So yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're I aim to be entertaining, even if I'm uh, even if I'm tired. I aim to be entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> well, perfect. Well, thank you very much, Marcus. No, thank you, man. I appreciate this. It's been a, this has been fun. I, you know, you've come up with some good questions that have taxed my foggy brain. So you've, been, <laughs> you've been absolutely wonderful. Thank you. I mean, I've been to my geography is really bad, so I have no <laughs> idea where anything is. I, I know I've, I've been uh, the further, I think the further closest I've been to the equator, I think, might be Antalya in Turkey, but I don't know how okay. close it is. So it might not well, be. It's, it's closer to the equator than, than than London is, at least. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. All right, cool. Marcus. That'll be. Well, well, let me do the intro, and then we'll get. That was just the banter. <laughs> <laughs> I like my geography inefficiencies. <laughs> so, just in case there's any like pub trivia, we wouldn't have you in to answer any geography questions. Then, so. my uh, a guy I work with, really a uh, good friend of mine, he's from Barbados, and he's I've worked with him for about like seven years. And like once, twice every year, he would explain to me where Barbados is on a map he made in relation to uh, Mexico and stuff. Still have a clue. <laughs> you know, but like you know it's just one of those things like it, it just it just slips right off me like i have i you know right I'm, you know i was just bad at photography i guess yeah everybody has their own strengths marcus that's fine see yeah yours is making comics so let's get the intro thank you that. i appreciate yeah, that <laughs>